Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another cast brought to you by Ragoska. I'm going to be casting a 1 versus 1 game between Mork, uh, spawning as the blue Zerg in the lower left corner, and Ryan, spawning as the red Protoss in the top of right corner. Uh, looks like some witty banter here coming from the players. Uh, this was played on the previous version of Battle.net, uh, version 1.2, um, so it won't have any of the new upgrades that were just released on Thursday, uh, which should still be a pretty interesting game played out. Uh, I wonder if Ryan is going to go to uh, High Templar still before they were taken out of the game. Um, so yeah, I don't know. If any of you aren't aware, they did take the Kydarian Amulet out of the game so they don't get the plus 25 starting energy anymore. Uh, which kind of will kind of hurt the uh, the High Templars, I think, in the long run. Um, but it does make it a little more balanced when you're not spending you know, army after army and he just keeps warping in these free storms. Uh, we do have some scouting going on. Uh, this map is Zelnager Caverns, um, which is like the 1v1 version of Metalopolis. It's a very balanced map, uh, pretty sizable choke or um, yeah, pretty sizable entrance into the natural here. Um, so it does make you defending that a little difficult if you go for counterattacks. Uh, looks like we had an extractor trick come out for Mork to get an extra drone out, uh, as you can see. So it'll be nice to see how Mork decides to transition this game. We got a gateway going up here for Ryan up in the top here. Uh, we got Mork scouting out his base. Not really going to see too much, just something pretty standard. Uh, gateway in the pylon here. Um, some Protoss you see like to do a forge expand, but on this map with the choke so big for this natural, um, it's not going to be too, too strong. Uh, meanwhile, Mork here is going for his an expansion, uh, not when he notices that there's no cheese coming for him. Um, so he's going to get that hatch up, and he'll probably also more than likely get his pool going up pretty soon as soon as he gets to 200 minerals. Um, as you can see, he's already got that drone ready to go to put that pool up. Other than that, looking back up here, uh, Ryan's base. Don't see too much happening. Looks like he's getting ready to put up that cybernetics core. Let's see if Mork decides to block that off. Yep, delaying that core as long as possible. Uh, leaving just a little bit of space right here to get a zealot to block that. Um, so that we can get units and probes out, but he can put a zealot there and keep the zerg from popping in. Uh, we do have a spawning pool going up for Mork now. Uh, Chrono boosting out that first zealot, but more than likely just to shoo away the drone. It's got a very interesting travel path here. Uh, you always want to make sure when you're scouting that you keep an eye on this nexus energy. Uh, make sure it's not getting too high. Uh, as you can see, he's still below 25, so he's more than likely using that on either his economy or to get some units out right away. Uh, if you see that Chrono boost start to build way, way up when you're scouting, it's a good indication that he's going to be going for some kind of... Uh, cheesy void ray type play or just chrono boosting out a, a high tech unit very fast or some kind of rush so you always want to keep an eye for that uh, looks like right now he is chrono boosting out that stalker just to clean up that scouting probe so then he can move into his build uh, with judging by how many minerals he's going up he's probably going for three gate robo or just a four gate opening against the zerg uh, four gates against zerg are pretty strong just because the zerg won't have a lot of units out in time uh, and if you do a lot of work with sentries and force fields, you can actually split apart the Zerg army and cause quite a bit of damage. Ooh, we do have a Stargate going up for our Protoss player. Uh, I wonder if he's going to be going for that Phoenix Void Ray opening we've been seeing in the GSL. Uh, where you get the Phoenix and the Void Ray, you fly in, you lift up the Queen, and then your Void Ray focuses down the Queen and does neither, none of your units take any damage. So it's a pretty sweet opening. Uh, we'll see how Mork decides to prepare for this. Let's see if he sees that coming. No, Mork has no idea about that Stargate, but he does have an Overlord in the bottom and the top, so he can push in at any minute to kind of test that out. Uh, we do have a spine crawler going up for Mork, which really won't help him against that Stargate, as well as the uh, metabolic boost upgrade and the speed upgrade. Uh, and his warp gate research is just about finished. Yep, but here comes the Void Ray, chrono, chrono boosting out that Void Ray and getting a second gateway up. Uh, as well as another zealot, uh, so I'll have to keep on that. Uh, currently, we're sitting at 24 over 24 harvesters, so about even. Uh, Economic-wise, we do have Ryan and more people in gas, though, and Mark just getting a little more minerals at this time. Uh, let's see what he decides to get after that first void ray. Come on, what's next after that void ray? Uh, meanwhile, R Mork is getting his roach warren put up, as well as upgrading into a layer. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of tech these players go. Oh, second Void Ray coming up for Ryan. So it looks like he's going to go in for some kind of mass Void Ray play. Um, would like to have seen him put the Stargate maybe back here. 
or a little bit further over. Uh, if Mork pushes up here with Zerglings, he may be able to scout that tech right away. It definitely would be able to see this Void Ray. Um, so possibly a little blunder on Ryan's part, uh, just allowing that to be scouted uh, if Mork chooses to push up there. But Mork's getting a lot, a lot of drones. Uh, so he's really going to start getting his economy taken off right away. Uh, we do have a pylon going up. And let's see if Mork can see the... Oh, there's the Void Ray. Uh, we wonder if Mork has, notices that tech or not. He does getting his evolution chamber up, so he can put up those spore crawlers, but we don't know if he'll be able to, uh, if he actually saw the Void Ray or not. And uh, if he's going to put up spore crawlers or not, or if he's... Oh, yep, he's going Hydra, so he probably did scout that up. Either that or he was just planning on going Roach Hydra. Um... Kind of a little blunder on my part, you know, I don't actually watch the replays before I cast them. It kind of takes some of the fun and surprise out. Um, some people say it's recommended to do that just so you don't miss anything, but I kind of enjoy it this way because it's kind of a surprise for me as it is for you guys. Um, looks like we have a small force here moving out. We've got the four stalkers, two sentries, two zealots, and two void rays. Uh, and he has, looks like he's going to be putting up a forward pylon. Uh, we have four hydralisks coming out from work right now and doing really good with that creep spread. Uh, but this queen more than likely is going to get picked off before she can do much more. Alright, there's the spine crawler getting burrowed in for Mork. Let's see where that probe is trying to go. Don't, no idea where that probe is trying to go. He didn't even get a forward pylon put up anywhere. It looks like Ryan's just trying to clear out these watchtowers right now. Uh, getting Also getting two more stalkers and another void right coming in. Uh, it would have been nice to see him get another uh, forward pylon put in so he can reinforce this attack with something. Um, but him just sitting out there, he's allowing Mork to build up units. As you can see, he's got the four queens right now. Hydra's going to work on these rocks while he's waiting for the units to come in. Uh, here comes the push from Ryan. Uh, all right, we've got Zerglings going in. We've got Hydra shooting away. Yeah, he's going to repel this attack pretty well. Probably could have used a few force fields to split that army in half and done a little bit more damage before he got pushed out. Um, but Void Rays, unless they get charged, those Hydras will clean them up pretty fast. And it looks like he's going to go back to taking off these rocks so he can get his third up. Uh, let's see how Ryan transitions out of that first attack. Uh, currently, Harvester, or currently, Supply, we've got Ryan sitting at 69, Mork sitting at 77. And income wise, we have Mark 48 harvesters to Ryan's 34, so Mark's economy is taken off quite a bit. Um, we do have a forge and a second gateway coming up for Ryan, as well as Zerg armor level 1 coming up for Mark. Uh, looks like Ryan's going to be starting to get some of those upgrades going, as well as getting a few more sentries out. And he's still making those void rays, even though Mark has that uh, Hydralisk attack out. Those void rays are going to be pretty useless against those. Hydralisks with their ability to move so fast on creep, he should be able to defend this area and this area quite well. And Mork getting his third base going up right now. Uh, as well as Spire Tech going up, so the Mutas will be able to do quite a bit of damage to those Void Rays before they can really do too much. And we have the Ground Weapons level 1 going up, cr getting Chrono boosted out. Uh, we do have the Pneumatized Carapace going up for Mork, uh, which is the Overlord speed, so he'll be able to see, kinda see and scout. And we do have this Overlord here, which allows Mork to get vision on this base, so we can kind of see how it's getting mined out. Uh, missile attacks level 2 going up for Mork, so his Roaches and Hydras will do a little bit more damage. Also getting Burrow researched as well, and the range for the Hydras. As well as 19 drones in production. Uh, Mork obviously feels very safe, and he's really going to just skyrocket his economy. Um, so he can build up kind of the perfect army that he wants, so he can go in here and kind of clean this out. I'm thinking if Ryan would have went for some kind of robo play, he could have done a little bit better damage with that first attack if he would have a couple Colossi instead of the Void Rays. Um, just because the Void Rays don't really do too well against Hydralisks. Alright, looks like Mork Spire is finishing up. Let's see how many 